Hi, my name is uh, Dr. G. R. Sena. Today we will discuss about addressing boards of 8085 microprocessor. There are different types of microprocessors. 8085 is actually the basic building block of all the microprocessor. If you today want to understand the basic concept of today's computer, so the, the concept, the basic of 8085 are very, very useful in order to understand the working of microprocessors. In all the microprocessors, addressing modes are very, very important. They, why they are important? Because in order to understand how does an instruction work, how is the instruction designed, how is the instruction used while writing the program, we need to understand addressing modes. Let us define addressing modes. Addressing modes are different ways in which operands are specified. I am repeating the different ways in which operands are specified. As we understand that there are two important uh, things, operands and opcodes in any microprocessor. Opcodes are hexadecimal codes and the operands are, I am writing one example, if I write MVIA 32H, MVIA 32H is an instruction where MVI is the mnemonic, A is accumulator and 32H is an 8-bit data. So registers, register here is accumulator and 32H, that is an 8-bit data. So 8 or 16-bit data, which we call as immediate data, and the registers are called as operands. So there are different ways by which we, we, we specify the operands. The different ways in which operands are, you know, defined operands are specified, we call them as the different addressing modes. So, if the addressing modes are divided into different categories, the major categories of addressing modes are direct addressing mode, number one, number two is indirect addressing mode, then register addressing mode, immediate addressing mode, then implicit addressing mode. These are the main, uh, you know, types of addressing modes of 8085 microprocessor. So let us start one by one. Let us uh, uh, start with direct addressing mode. Or let us, let us start with register addressing mode. It is better to start with register addressing mode. So that we can easily understand what is actually addressing mode. What exactly actually the addressing mode is. Register addressing mode. As we have defined the addressing mode as the different way in which operand is specified. So as can be seen its name register addressing mode. The addressing mode in which the operands are registers. For example, I am writing for instruction move B to A. Add B sub C. We can see that all the operands in all the three instructions are registers A, B and C. And therefore these instructions are under which addressing mode? Register addressing mode. That is the addressing modes which are uh, being used in these instructions are register addressing mode. Let us take, this is the number one, uh, first one, address, register addressing mode. Let us take another addressing mode that is, let us uh, discuss about uh, immediate, immediate addressing mode, immediate. Actually, in terms of microprocessor, immediate is the term which is used for 8-bit and 16-bit data, that is immediate data. So it's very simple. Normally in all the instructions usually, where I is there in the mnemonic, they fall under the category immediate addressing mode. Otherwise, otherwise wherever 8-bit or 16-bit data are present in the instructions called as immediate addressing mode. For example, if I write MVIA 30H, this 30H 8-bit data is copied into accumulator. I is also there, that is so as to understand easily. So an 8-bit data which is immediate data is present. So this instruction is the example of immediate addressing mode. There may be n number of examples like ANI 00H, CPI 32H, all these instructions are LXI. LXI is normally the syntax is LXI register pair. So if I write LXI B means BC register pair is there. So I will write 3070H. So this 3070H is the 16-bit hexadecimal data which is to be copied in B and C respectively. So all these examples are under immediate addressing mode. Let us take, this was the second example, let us take third one. That is direct and indirect. I am considering, I am, I am, I am uh, you know, taking uh, direct and indirect together. Why? 
This is very simple by one example. If I write STA 3000H and there is another example is tax B. Let us understand how these instructions work. When I say STA 3000H, this is called as stay store accumulator, stay 3000H. This is a 16 bit memory address. Store accumulator, mnemonic, English like meaningful letter. Store accumulator at the 16 bit, that is, store the content of accumulator at the memory address specified. And what is the memory address specified here? 3000 edge. So the operation is taking place directly because the address is known wherever the content of accumulator is to be copied, is to be stored, and therefore this falls under direct addressing mode. This, see this another example, this tax. Wherever X is there, register pair is there. So which register pair is involved here? BC. Store accumulator indirectly. What do we call it as indirectly? Because this will also do the same thing. It stores the content of accumulator at the memory address specified by the register pair which is given here. That is when I say S F stacks B. So B and C will have certain content. For example, B is 10H and C is 20H. So if you combine B and C as a register pair, if you see B and C, it is 1020H. So what will happen? The content of A will be copied into 1020H. That is the memory address 1020H. And this memory address is not directly given. And therefore, this comes under indirect addressing mode. There are other examples also. If I write INRM, if I write INRM, that is, this is example of indirect. INRM, what is INRM? Increment memory. There is there any uh, register named as M inside 8085 microprocessor? No. What is this M then? This is content of memory address. What is M? Content of content of memory. Content of memory address indicated by HL pair. HL pair, for example, HL pair indicates 3000H. So 3000H is the 16 bit address. That is right from 0000H to FFFFFFH. These 64 kilobyte total memory locations are there. Out of these locations, one location is indicated by HL pair. And at that address, the content of that address is called as M. So that is not directly given. So what does it do? Increment memory, content of memory means it, it, it retrieves the content of the memory address indicated by HL pair, then again increments it and copy it into the same memory address. That is the content of the memory address is incremented by 1. So this is the example of indirect addressing mode. I would say in all the instructions, in all the instructions, uh, whether it is uh, move M to A, whether it is DCRM, in all the instructions wherever M is there, capital M is present in the instructions. All those instructions come under indirect addressing mode. Like direct addressing mode, LDA, LDA 2070H, this may also be considered under direct addressing mode. Now, let us, let us take the last one, that is fifth addressing mode. And what is that addressing mode? Addressing mode is implicit, implicit addressing mode. Some of the literatures you will find it as implied, implied or implicit addressing mode. These are equal things, implicit or implied. And when we see actually the meaning of implicit, implicit which is not explicit. And what is explicit? Explicit is clear. So what is implicit? Opposite of explicit, which is not clear. So the implicit is the addressing mode in which none of the operand is specified. I repeat. There is no any operand which is specified in instruction. All those instructions are under implicit addressing mode. For example, if I write NOP, no operation. I am not writing any operand. NOP, this comes under implicit addressing mode. If I write HLT, halt, no operand. If I write STC, set carry. If I write complement carry. If I write complement accumulator. All these instructions are under implicit addressing mode. So this is about all the addressing modes. Let me conclude. Let me conclude about this small lecture on addressing mode. Addressing mode is the different way in which operands are specified. There are five different types of addressing modes. 
डायरेक्ट एड्रेसिंग मोड इनडायरेक्ट एड्रेसिंग मोड रजिस्टर एड्रेसिंग मोड इमीडिएट एड्रेसिंग मोड एंड इम्प्लीसिट एड्रेसिंग मोड द वे वी परफॉर्म द ऑपरेशन ओवर द ऑपरेट अकॉर्डिंगली वी हैव टू एड्रेसिंग मोड्स लाइक डायरेक्ट एंड इनडायरेक्ट एंड इफ द if the operands are register the addressing mode is register addressing mode if the operand is immediate data that is under uh, uh, that that is actually immediate addressing mode and lastly if no any operand is specified in the instruction that is called as implicit addressing mode so i hope this would uh, make you understand the, the 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 you know the overview or the concept of addressing mode thank you